you dance at Haunted Castle, you will summon the Soul Reaper? Okay, I'm gonna try dancing. Man, I knew this wasn't gonna work. I don't even know why I bothered. Ah! Oh, shoot! This is one of the 100 myths I'll be trying to debunk in today's video, based on what you all have told me on the Discord to be true or not. Prepare to have your mind blown because there are some myths that are talked about throughout this video that I had no clue about. And they're absolutely shocking. If you have a fruit equipped and you eat the same fruit, you will lose it. Okay, I know it. I have portal equipped. Do I have a portal fruit? You know what? I already have a Buddha in my inventory, so let's just eat that. We eat it. Uh, yeah, we will lose the fruit. Maybe this would be a little warning telling you that you have the fruit already equipped. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You take less damage in water in the T-Rex transformation. You know what? Let's actually compare. I'm pretty sure it's like 20 damage a tick when we're in water. So we're just making ourselves level 100 so it's easy to compare. Okay, yeah, that's pretty quick. Oh, let's get out of water before we die. A teal. Let's go in T-Rex form. Let's transform. Now let's see how quick it is in the water. Ah, uh, that feels the, probably the same. I think this myth is cap. You take more damage in the water with sand. We're experimenting a lot with water today. So that's the normal rate of losing our health. Ooh. And if we swap to sand. Oh, shoot, we die a lot quicker. I guess that myth is true. If you hold down a move and start a raid, you will start glitching out. All right, here we go. We got our little raid ticket for flame raid. Let's just hold down this skill. Can we not start it? Okay, you know what? Let me try clicking first and then doing it. Loading map. Okay, let's see. We're loading in. Let's see if we glitch out. Uh, we have not glitched. So I guess that's false. If you hold an attack in a portal of Castle Hydra Mansion, you could start flying across the map. So if we go over here and... Oh, okay. We held a move, but we're not... We just didn't get teleported. Can we try triggered it again? Okay. How about if we do it here? Huh? Uh, it's not working. Let's try this one. Okay, so when we start holding a move, right when we enter, the black swipe goes across our screen, but it doesn't teleport us. And until we release, then it teleports us. So I think this is false. Kitsune is faster than the life fruit. All right, I got a light user here, and we got someone to count down that. for us to begin the race. All right, he's counting down. Three, two, one, go. All right, you know what? Wait, this is not faster. Okay, the light beat me. Let me do it again, but I'll start. I'll use my dashes. All right, three, two, one. Go. All right, you know what? We're dashing. We're... Oh, we're actually kind of beating it. Oh, it's right on my tail. No, no. Oh, we. I think that was like a tie. So that is kind of true. If you do Bessel Friendo perfectly on a trading chair, the server can't trade on that chair for the rest of the server. No way. There's no way that's true. Okay, you know what? Let's test it. We got our Bessel Friendo. Oh, here. Let's try to get them in the chair. Or maybe I have to summon them in the chair. Okay, that one's not sitting down so it seems they don't want to sit down but they did touch the chair so let's see if we can still trade we can still trade something all right let's see if the trade actually works and it does it yeah that is false you can use portal v while on someone else's portal v all right we're entering our portal now let's try mine oh okay that's weird so we can summon the thing but it just doesn't like drag us in there and it leaves it like, behind the portal thing wait what happens if we go into nope. nothing so yeah we can use our ultimate but it doesn't do nothing so i guess that's true if you remove your fruit in kitsune form and a person with buddha is riding you a person will be able to transform into buddha after you remove your fruit oh that's yo this is like a knight on a horse okay that, that that's true you can walk on water as a mammoth uh I, I don't know why I thought this. You guys are a bunch of liars. You can phase through certain buildings in C2 near a cafe using Mink V4 Super Dash. Oh, we just went right through that building. Oh, we almost went through the second one. No. Nope. Ah, well, I would say it works half, about half the time. So yeah, it's it's about true. It's true. The X of Shark Anchor is different against Buddha user on air. Okay, so that's what it looks like we wouldn't use that from air. Now they transform into a Buddha. Oh, it does that little shatter effect. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's from the Leviathan boss. Maybe same way for other fruits like that. Yeah, the same effect. Cool, seems to be true. All right, now we're gonna do a speed run of lava theory in the second C. Portal X ignores lava damage. Okay. Uh, nope, we just took a lot of damage. Nope, that does not ignore it. 
If you are using dragon and you're in dragon form, you are immune to water or lava if you go near. All right, now let's just try going to lava and dragon form. Uh, yeah, we're not taking any damage really. No, none. How about water? Okay. Nope, we're, yep, we're taking a lot of damage there. So this is half true. If you're moving as an awakened Buddha, you don't take any damage on lava. Uh, oh, well, I'm already taking damage while it's transforming. Huh? Oh, but uh, we, I am taking damage, but it's like very, very slow. Kind of true, kind of not true. When you use the light fruit flight ability and crash into lava, you don't take any damage. Next crash right down. Oh, yeah, we just don't take any damage. Oh. Oh, wait, we did. Once we actually hit the lava, then it took us out of form. But no, that's not true. Using the lava floor move with Unawakened Magma, then resetting, it will leave the lava on the floor. So we're using this move, then we reset, we hold it down, reset. It's kind of still there. Wait, let's see. Ah, uh, it's gone. Nope, that's... Wait, let me try one more time. Maybe you have to hold it down the whole way through. Okay, you guys are a bunch of liars. Don't take damage from lava with magma equipped. Oh, yeah, we don't take any damage at all with magma. I guess that's a little cool key detail they added. Lava kills admin faster than normal players. Okay, here we go. We got one normal player here. I'm going to change my level to his level, and we're going to test that theory. I am so dumb. I have magma equipped from the last thing. Okay, you know what? I'm so sorry. Okay, now this is for all the marbles. If I'm messing up this time. Uh, whoa, I kind of died way slower than he did. So no, that's not true. And for the final one of these lava tests, you can stand on lava with Leo transformation, aka Leopard. Oh, wait, what? Is Leopard somehow made out of magma? Why are we not dying right now? Okay, uh, that's true. You can use portal and OP fun to get to the raid islands while someone else is doing a raid. All right, so I'm pretty sure at the ice castle, if you go in this general direction and it's really far, then you'll make your way to the raid where they spawn. So let me just start heading over there. <laughs> Oh, wait, here it Whoa. is. Okay. No, we found it. Finally. Ultimately, that myth is true. Myth. If you like and subscribe to Uzoff, you get the best luck of all. We're going to ask this guy, are you subscribed to Uzoff? Do you like the videos? He said yes. Okay, now roll through. All right, let's see what he got. Oh, he got a leopard. Hey, yo, he got the leopard fruit. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you like the videos and you subscribe, you get lucked up like this guy. Of course, this, this, this wasn't, this wasn't faked at all. No, why would it? If you hold bomb V and someone teleports you with portal C, you get glitched. All right, we're going to test that theory. I'm going to test. I'm going to hold down the ultimate. All right. If he just teleports me or he tries to. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're just getting sent to the moon. Wait, we're not even losing our health anymore. We're just keep going back and forth and slingshotting. Oh, uh, yeah. we're just sideways now. Oh, wait, who'd we hit? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. What the hell? If you go to settings in game and then you press the press to walk setting, then if you apparently jump and then press right click, then dash, you should jump really high. So if we go to this setting, the movement mode where we do click to move and how does it? Okay, so you press right click to move and it'll take you there. That's actually, I never knew of that feature. So now if you jump, dash and jump. Oh, what the? Yo, we just got sent to the moon. Dash, move, Q. Oh, okay. This is, this, yeah, this is true. You can have all beast type fruit transformations at the same time. I'm like 100% sure this is not true, but we're just going to try anyways. So there's leopard. Yeah, we already can't transform into nothing else. Oh, and we're stuck in this. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. This is false. You can cut basically anything with control. Oh, wait. Okay. Whoa, that's actually a blue rock. It didn't really cut this, but it made a blue rock. That's interesting. How about this? Oh, we got the cauldron. Yo, okay. How about the lava? We just got a giant glob of lava floating around. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's partially true. If you put pale scarf and then turn on observation and then switch to another accessory, you will still have 10 times vision. Okay, so right now, I only see this boss up here without the scarf. If I equip it, I see this player all the way over there. And now we just keep the vision on and then swap to another accessory. Pilot helmet. We can still see them. 
and we're fast we got the buffs with the pilot helmet now what if i unequip it i don't have to 10 times anymore so yeah it's true as long as you keep the uh observation on when you swap accessories the mf users run the same speed as a t-rex user all right without using any special accessory without using any dashing we're gonna race all the way to the end of the bridge bye have a great time uh yeah I i'm only holding w and we're moving a lot faster than the mammoth look at that slow poke back there <laughs> no, wah, wah, no, no. get out of here all right so that's false if you go to the waterfall in hydro island there's a secret opening behind it that allows you to see the beautiful pirate domain and flash up in there to kill the beautiful pirates here's the waterfall and we go inside oh there's a little secret crevice in here let's see if we can go any further oh what the hell i didn't know this whole yo beautiful pirate domain okay how do you enter a fire like this oh yo we got in and then we just go through here and then we're all the way back at turtle island oh okay so that is true you can make yourself fly freely by using kitsune x and then switching fruits last second okay here we got kitsune we use the x and then swap to a fruit the way i'm gonna do is uh by using admin so it's a lot easier to me to do so if we do x what okay oh maybe we have to do a transformed okay that would make a lot more sense okay we're not flying freely oh but uh, something happened that? no this is false if you use cyber v4 jump and then soul guitar m1 at the same time you go much further that is cap i think we're going pretty much the same height untransformed buddha with fruit in hand can make you move super fast okay we're unawakened buddha we're gonna take out the light fruit because it's one of the fastest fruits in the game oh wait what the yo what the wait we're actually like going crazy i'm only holding the d key and my space bar what this is weird and if we want to stay in the air we just spam jump sometimes it's kind of buggy but look what the hell okay yeah that's that's, that's surprisingly true I gotta, I gotta report that bug. If you use pull V1 X move and you unequip it, your hand is spinning. So here we got the pull first form. We just hold the X move and then I guess unequip it. Okay, we can't unequip it. I feel like this used to work, but just not anymore. So I'm just gonna say that's false. If you activate death step maximum overheat and equip dragon talent, you will have two fires coming out. So here we got the death step. So we use the maximum overheat swap the dragon talon and yeah we're just pretty much some kind of infernal man yeah that's true kitsune ribbon is faster than pilot helmet when in kitsune form so we got the pilot helmet we got the kitsune form we're already pretty fast enough so if we just stop here run all the way across and just compare that's pretty quick now let's do the ribbon three two one uh that feels much slower. It might be quicker when you're using Kitsune with the ribbon against uh, Sabmon with just the pilot helmet. But pilot helmet plus the Kitsune is much faster. So I would say that's false. If you flash step out of the temple of time and jump down, you are in danger zone four. So if we just teleport out here. Where can we teleport out of? Okay, right here. Boom. Then we just jump down out of here. Whee! Apparently, we'll be in a level danger four zone. Danger zone four. Oh, I see some rocks. Wait, this might be true. Oh, oh, level four. Okay, that's true. If only you could bring a boat here while you do that. But yeah, that's really true. Beautiful pirate gives more XP than the cake queen. All right, that might be true. I, don't, I, I feel like cake queen's stronger though. So why would the beautiful pirate give more XP? So that gave about 1,470,000. Now the cake queen, that one gives 2,117,000. So why are you lying to me wrong if you ride a kitsune then enter a raid you will be in six zone all right let's start the raid that'd be really cool this guy can load in with me but apparently we'll get sent to the sixth level of the sea by doing this um and yeah you guys are a bunch of liars but this guy we snuck this guy in even though he didn't take up a spot are you able to attack them no okay he can come in but he just can't attack them so you're just a dirty liar when an admin is killed there's a small chance that they will drop a dark blade and i'm here to tell you personally that's not true that is not true so myth busted buster if you rumble tp f into uh the teleporter from turtle to sea castle you glitch through the roof so i'll go here and then press f huh? we did not go to the roof let's try again and one more time you, you guys are lying to me if you are a marine and then become a pirate 
You will have no ally button. Oh, wait, we, we don't have one right now? I never knew you don't have a ally button as a Marine. I did be joined to join as a Marine just to see if this would work. That's the Marine recruiter. Now let's go here. Pirate recruiter, join. Oh, we don't have the ally button. There's this gap where it should be. So yeah, that's true. When you use God human and magma, if you use the V of the magma fruit, then switch to God human before the animation stops. And you see, you will fling really far. So V. Swap to it and nothing happened. Maybe I did it too slow. So let me just try again. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not working. You're wrong. The M ones of Sanguine Art give you a little bit of health when you hit someone. Okay, now we'll use M ones. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just had the normal health regen. It's not giving us any health. I, I don't think so. No, that's wrong. Dragon Town's on top. That's why. You can use auto aim glitch on Buddy Sword. Here's how you do it. First, you need to switch off full screen. Then you need to press the Buddy Sword X. Then you need to move your cursor to the upper screen. Hold right click. Then aim directly at the enemy. Okay, that's a lot. All right, you know, but we're going to try it though. So we swap off full screen. You can't tell that I'm off full screen, but I am. Trust. So this guy's going to keep moving around. We're going to just test that theory. So now hold x freeze your screen aim where he was when he's frozen and then it didn't work you're wrong myth invisible fox lamb glitch use buddha's unawakened z hold the fox lamp once transform back to normal invisible fox lamp except for the fire it works with any every sword hold the fox lamp once and transform back to normal Bruh. and okay it didn't work does block shoots have lore well just to show you, yes, there is lore. There's various lore between the powers of Indra and Redhead. As you can tell, they're infamous each little admin zones that they have. So this is the Red Legion hideout. This is the Rip Arena. This is the Rip Family hideout. And then finally, we have Indra's Pocket Dimension. Not only that, but there's a whole comic that was made for some lore of the Blockstreet story. If you're interested in reading that, like how Levi Leviathan came to be in the story, and check it out. I'll leave it in the description. Cyborg V3 still damages players if you are in the X move of portal. So the purpose of the X move of portal is you're supposed to be like out of the world, out of the dimension. You're supposed to be invisible to people. And apparently if you use the Cyborg V3 uh, passive or ability, you could still damage people while in that form, in that little area. So we press an X move and then use our thing. Oh, we were, yeah, we were hitting them while we're inside it. If I do it again, yeah, it's still going on. And then, yeah. Damn, okay, yeah, that's true. You can use Kitsune M1s and attacks when you're riding another. He's gonna do the glitch, and then I'm gonna transform. Oh, yeah, we can use our M1s, but can we damage them? Oh, snap. Let's kill this Dole King in this form. Oh my god, bro. Holy crap, that was laggy. Oh my, we're glitching so bad. Oh, we're about to die. I'm about to die, actually. Oh, we got him. Okay, sweet. So yeah, it's true. Except I'm kind of glued to the seat now. I can't even get up. Apparently the biggest myth. There's a myth suggesting that certain islands hold a secret NPC unparalleled combat skills, offering a rare reward upon defeat. This is actually true, if you didn't know. It's actually here at the Haunted Island or the Haunted Castle. So if you just go all the way over here, you will find yourself a beautiful looking NPC with unparalleled combat skill that offers a title if you manage to kill them. So yeah, if you didn't know that, now you know. If you use flash that with Human V4 Awakened and use Light Flight instantly, you become invisible. So transform, we teleport and fly at the same time. Oh, wait, we did become invisible for a second, hold on. Oh, we're kind of invisible. I would say it kind of works halfway. That's half correct. If you swap fruits while having the spirit piggy equipped or out in the field, it gives you a speed buff. I thought this was a bug that was fixed last update or an update ago, but I'm going to check and see if that's still true. We got to summon all our spirits. Hello there. We got three pigs on the field. We're pretty fast. And we swap fruits. Uh, and we're not fast anymore. That myth is debunked. It didn't make us faster. You deal more damage with Dark Blade against Rip Indra. We're gonna spawn Rip Indra. We're gonna use an M1. That did 4,879. Now, if we put the Dark Blade, that does 5,101. But I feel like a lot of weapons have different M1 damage. Let me see. Coco, 6,000 damage. And Dark Blade does 1,000 less. That? So I don't think that's true. But let's try the Triple Dark Blade. 
8,000 damage. Okay, so you heard it here, folks. If you have the triple dark blade, you do more M1 damage. You can use Awakened Rumble F ability four times if you spam it. We all know that the F ability gives three charges, but if you use it four times, or if you spam it, it apparently is four times? And that was three times. You're wrong. Rubber doesn't take damage from guns. Now, I don't know why I even bothered testing this, but there's a slim chance that that could be true. But we're just gonna try anyways. Okay, he's about to... Wait, what? What? We hold on. They have PvP enabled? Okay. Uh, apparently, we don't take any damage. Hold on. So let me swap to flame fruit. <clears throat> oh, we just took damage. And then we go back to rubber. Oh, that's true. Wait, I really doubted that. Love X has infinite range. So if we do it to this tree, then that one, then that one, then that tree over there. Oh, it's barely hitting that tree. How about that one way over there? Oh, hold on. Okay, it has a lot of range, but it's not infinite, unfortunately. If you let somebody get in combat with you, then change your level to under level 20, then they can't kill you. So this guy's going to attack me. And then right before I die, I'm going to change the levels. Oh, wait. You lied to me so I could die to this guy? Are you kidding me? Wrong. You are slower in a safe zone. So we're just going to equip every fast thing we know, like rabbit one, pilot helmet, anything to increase our walk speed. And as soon as we leave the safe zone, Bruh. we're the same freaking walk speed. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're lying. You can reset yourself using bomb fruit V till HP goes to zero. I thought I was gonna keep going until we hit uh, zero. But no, it seems we gotta use it multiple times. One more. And yep, we died. I don't know what I expected. It's true. If you use the Portal V ability on a Terror Shark, something cool happens. Portal V? Uh, what's supposed to happen? I would like to say that myth is not true. Cyborg can destroy boat easily. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. And I one shot it because I just realized I had 9 million levels. All right, let's use it. Nothing's happening. So that's false. You can use the echo knife outside the control area. Use a portal friend to get to the other island. So we use your control area. And I can't use the C move. Okay, that was wrong. You can make your boat fly if you use Kitsune Transform. Then get someone to mount you and make them drive the boat works better with lantern so here we got a, our lantern ship with our beautiful crew symbol on it and we somehow gotta get them in the sea oh wait we're kind of yo we're flying somehow oh my god okay we got the boat on the island so we did how do we control it yo what the hell what the f oh my god the lantern swinging everywhere Yo, this is insane. Okay, I like to say if that glitch kind of worked. Yeah, that myth is true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the move on him. He's going to teleport away to another island with the uh, thing still chasing him. And yeah, let's see. Okay. Oh, snap. So it kind of worked, I think. How about this? I want to see the C move. Does it does it keep following him? Yeah, he's taking he's taking more damage just now after I hit him. Yeah, I think that's true, right? Angel V4 could kill someone twice before they respawn. Uh, I think I have an idea of how this works, but I don't know if it does work. But we're gonna try anyway. So we're gonna V4 kill them instantly, and then we're gonna go to where they spawn, which they shouldn't die, and yeah, they they don't die twice. Okay, you can make the Mammoth Fruit invisible if you first equip Ghost Fruit, then die. Then equip the Mammoth and transform. This works for any fruit with transformation, I believe. Boom. We have Ghost Fruit equipped. We die. We equip Mammoth and transform. And it did nothing. We're not invisible. So that's wrong. That's false. Transformed Leopard holds fruit in its pocket. If we now hold a fruit. Oh, wait, it like kind of sits on our wrist or not wrist. What am I saying? Our waist. Damn. Yeah, it kind of is in our pocket. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of true. We're holding TTK Z move and change to another sword right after release. The move you will be floating. Nope. nope. That, I don't know why I even bother trying these ones. No, that does not work. If you transform to Buddha V2 and use the V move right before the raid starts, you will make a portal. Okay. Wait a second. Now. What? Uh, 
Okay. Whoa, what the? You see that little beam going all the way over there? Can we go inside it? Wait, that's so weird. I, yeah, that's true. You can move a boat around when you use the God Human Sea on top of a sea. Now, we can't be sitting down, but we got to use the sea to kind of wiggle our way in there. Oh, wait. It just did it for a second. Come on now. You kind of do move it around. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's half true. Using different swords and sky jumping would change the jump animation. That's that jump animation this to a little front flip have we changed our sword is that different no i'm pretty sure that's the same let's do another one yeah that's like the same one except with the dark blade then you have a different jump animation that's like the only sort of a different jump animation the blocks fruits moon cycle is backwards also the moon has been changed to be on the same phase in every server except private servers so it's daytime in this private server right now now if i go to another random public server what's the moon gonna be so it's daytime then if we go to another one, it's nighttime. Yeah, okay. So this just already proves, yeah, this full moon just ended. So this already proves that it's wrong. That whole thing is wrong. Fruit scale and size with Buddha transform. So here we got the love fruit. It's like the size of this guy's head, kinda. Not really. Now if we transform, it's pretty much the same size. Let me try doing the Buddha glitch. Like that, and does our fruit change? It's pretty much the same size. It is not scale. I, I don't know why. Oh, wait, what the? It's not hanging out in my hand. Okay, wait, this actually might be right. And the physical model doesn't get big, but the hitbox does. And then we we re equip it, it's back to normal. I was completely wrong then. It's true. The Japanese symbols that are shown when holding down the Z move on the fox lamp means Kitsune. You get the fox lamp, you hold down Z, and supposedly these characters mean Kitsune. Let's go to Google, translate, and type Kitsune. And okay, hold on. We gotta try to match this with the characters that we saw. So we have this letter here, and we have this one here, and then we got this one here. And then also here, but also this one goes here. It, yeah, I would say he spells kid soon. It's a little bit jumbled around, but that's pretty much true. You can glitch a boat to fly using Phoenix. All right, here we got the very majestic and beautiful boat. Uh, we gotta go in Phoenix form, I guess, and try to fly it. Okay, we're in Phoenix form and we're in the sea. We're not, we're not really flying right now. So I'm just gonna say this is false. When you go to the portal dimension and wanna go through the portal on top for exit, don't jump to it. Instead, do the spiky trident Z through it and you will end up in the sky. Spiky trident, go inside the dimension, hold down the X move and go through the portal. Oh, the Z move, hold on, the Z move. Oh, we, we did kind of end up in the sky. If you go from Phoenix F to Unawakened V, then untransform, you get no arms. So first thing we need is Phoenix, Unawakened V, then untransform, you get no arms. Oh, let, let, let's just try it. So I'm gonna do F, V, and then V again. Oh, what the? Why does it do that? My arms really do disappear. You can walk while holding V control move. You need to wait 20 seconds. I don't believe that. There's no way. So we just hold down the V. We gotta wait 20 seconds. Oh, we're still holding it down. Yeah, we're walking pretty much. If you put a macro on flash step with human V4, you will do four teleport. And sometimes teleport randomly across the map. So I like to use this as my macro kind of thing to spam and use the OP fun with. So here I'm gonna set up the key function to let me uh, spam. For PC users, the button to use flash up is R. So where's R? Right here. I'm gonna enable turbo, make the speed really high, save, become a human. Awaken, and then let's try it. Wait, that was too fast. I don't know if that was four. Oh, what the? Okay, so I can't tell if that was four, but we did teleport. So yeah, I would say that's kind of true. God human is better than Dragon Talon. So with Dragon Talon, I can beat this cake queen up like it's no problem. Easy peasy, just like that. But with God human, this ugly little dirty fighting style, let's see how easy it is then. No! Oh my god, we're about to die. Yo! So as you can see, Dragon Town is way better than God Human. If you hold down the X move of Buddy Sword and release it at the same time you unequip it, you will become unmovable. We're gonna hold down the X move, and then at the same time we unequip it, we let go. Okay. Did I do that wrong? Oh! There we go. Ew, what's wrong with our hand? Okay, yeah, but we're stuck. We can't move. So yeah, it's true. Gravity V and C do more damage against T-Rex users. So here I got two lovely players to help out here to uh, debunk this myth. First, we're gonna see the damage we do a normal level against a normal player with Meteor Pitch. So we're gonna do the C move. 
that does 2,224, and I guess a dino user, it does actually less. Surprising. So no, gravity does not do more damage against dino users. You can bring eight people in a raid with just four kitsunes or love users. So here I've gathered eight people. Eat, there's a someone riding on each person's back, so we're gonna see how this goes. All right, we're starting. This guy has to get on my back. Come on, get on. There we go. Can we get eight people in this raid? One, two, three, four. Yo, everyone's in. But the real question is, can they attack? So they can't attack. They can't get rewards for the raid, but you know what they could do? They could summon the sea beast to help out. And that'll do damage to NPCs. This is kind of broken. You can get in a boat while on Kitsune Transformation and go really fast in the boat. Spawn a boat, go on Kitsune form. And can we sit down like this? I don't think that's how it works. Well, maybe if I just glitch in like that. And we're in the seat, but we can't move. So instead of going very fast, we're going no speed at all. Thanks for lying to me. Using Cyborg V4 Super Jump, a Doe F can allow you to run and jump and use moves as a donut. Cyborg, Awaken, and then we super jump and press F. Ah, it's not letting me use any moves when I do it. So this is false. You can throw fruit with a control fruit. Here we got one delicious light fruit. And here's us trying to throw it. No. What if someone's holding it? Nope, it is not work. You can stand next to a driving boat and move with magma. All right, so we got so in the boat. Uh, we have magma fruit, and now let's see what happens. What? We're, we're moving with them. Yeah, it kind of does work, and we're also turning. You can find the awakening room under the floating turtle. Okay, now we're under the floating turtle. Oh, wait, is that it over there? This little gold-looking block area. I think this is it. Yo, okay, we're we're in here. What if we talk to him? We need more to what do you seek? Ascension. You cannot. Okay. Well, we can't cheese a raid and get our fruits awakened, but at least we can see this guy. Sound fruit could fly faster than light when it has the tempo mode activated. Okay, so we got one light user, one sound user. Three, two, one, go. Here they go. Oh my God, lights beating him tremendously. Even with tempo mode, oh my god. Yeah, it was no competition. Attacking the head will deal more damage than hitting anywhere else. So we're gonna first shoot this guy's arm. Did 1,155. We're gonna shoot his leg. Same damage. How about his torso? Same damage. For now, we're gonna aim for the head. And pretty much the same damage all around. If you sit on a chair while holding down God Human C move, you don't sit, you lay down. So we got a chair here. You hold down C, try to glitch into it. Oh, we're not laying down. We kind of just sat down, but like off the C. You can get kicked if you hold X though and go to the portal in the same time. All right, this guy's gonna port somewhere and I'm gonna go through it. Oh, wait, what? Let me try that again. So if I hold it down and then someone uses a portal, uh, it does not make me crash. I do not get kicked. V4 stats are the same as max level stats without V4. So these are my current stats because I'm an admin, so I have the same stat in every thing. And then when I awaken, my stats change, even for my sword, gun, and block strip. So we get more stats. To prove it to you, I'll do a damage comparison. So if I hit this guy normally, 1,816 damage. Now if I awaken, 19,000 or 1,997 damage. So yeah, the stats are there. They are not the same. You can teleport any boat to any place that you just set your home to. Just need to time it when you click the home button and set the uh, ship seats. I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna set my home here. I'm gonna go somewhere like Hydra Arena. Right when it hits zero, we're gonna hit sit down. Oh, okay, I don't think we did it right. Let me just try a couple more times to make sure I'm really timing it. Oh, yo, we did it. We did it. We brought it here. We had a time at like at the last, very last second. If you go into the second sea, you find the place where you get teleported to and by the cursed ship, you could take damage. Clue, it's somewhere in the ocean far, far away. Somewhere in this direction, this is where the place is. This is the cursed ship. Oh, oh, snap, we're taking damage. Yeah, that, what am I dying to? Why are we taking damage? Why are we dying? Can't touch the, okay, we died. Yeah, it just teleports us back inside. So it's true, Mint. If you hit the like and subscribe button, Uzoff will be happy. It's true. Here, I'll prove it to you. Are you subscribed? Yes. See, that makes me very happy. And you know what happens when I, when I become happy? I'll give him things like this. He didn't have anything smaller than this. And yeah, he said, OMG, thanks. You can equip two different 
aura colors at the same time using sword and melee. Now, I'm not really sure what that means, but the way you do it is how I think you do it, then we're just gonna try it that way. So, I don't know, I'll just change this one with my melee equipped, and then for my sword, I'll swap to this one. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see that one more time. Let me try a more obvious color, like green. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we got red hands with the green sword. Uh, as soon as I turn it off and on again, then it's gonna swap. Oh, okay. So it's true. Max level play will never be able to kill a level one player. For this myth, I have gathered like 10 max level players, all with dragon talent, and they're all gonna smite me as a level one to see if this myth is true. Three, two, one. Go! Help me. Help me. And I take no damage. If you transform a Buddha while swimming, you can drown. Works with the unawakened Buddha too. You know that Buddhas don't drown in water, they walk in it for some reason. But if you transform while in the water, it's a different story. Oh my god, we're sw we swimming and we're dead. So yeah, it's true. You can kill someone while they're on your back of your Kitsune by unallying them and using the Kitsune M1. So we're gonna kidnap this dude, he's gonna ride our back, and then we're gonna unally, and we're gonna kill him. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> he said, what the hell? He did not like that. So it's true, I'm gonna have to use that trick a lot. Anyways, I hope you liked the video, and if you wanna see more, if you have any more myths I could try, then comment them, like the video, and I don't know, subscribe, maybe, perhaps. Anyways, I'll see you next one, bye.